When the South Africans touched down in Jamaica in 1992 for their first tour of the West Indies, they were re-entering international cricket after 22 years in the wilderness. Of greater importance than the cricket, though, was the opportunity to rebuild sporting ties. Jamaica, we've all known, has been so very strongly anti-South African because of the apartheid system for decades and took a very strong line in this regard and for their creating people to come here and welcome us, welcome us into their country it's really, it's just a marvellous feeling. Nevertheless, the solitary test in Barbados was the subject of a boycott, but rather than the arrival of the South Africans, it was the non-selection of local Bayesian player Anderson Cummings that had triggered the protests. We were very disappointed in the selectors, we were very disappointed in the manager of the, of the team. That's what we are protesting. Not because South Africa is here. We are we're backing them, you know, 100%. We are happy that they're here. And we welcome, we welcome them on our shores. So it was against the backdrop of an almost deserted Kensington Oval in Bridgetown that South Africa and West Indies renewed hostilities. Desmond Haynes 58 was the highlight of the West Indies 262 first innings total. Then it was the turn of the South African test debutant Andrew Hudson to take centre stage. Oh, that's a fine stroke. It was short, moved inside the line, rolled his wrist, kept it along the floor. That really was the stroke of the inning so far. Put away for four. Make that four fours and six balls. And that's his hundred. Andrew Hudson has become the first South African batsman in 22 years to score a test century and the first ever South African to score a century in his first test. Well, yeah, Andrew and myself uh, we were in, involved in a, in a significant partnership and uh, it was a debut 100 for him so uh, I was really pleased for him. He played, uh, he played superbly. We both sort of uh, had the philosophy that uh, the best form of defence was attack and uh, we took the sword to the West Indian bowls quite a bit and, and really we dominated the test match uh, for the first four days. After demonstrating what they could achieve with the bat, South Africa unveiled another debutant who was to prove more than a little handy with the ball, Alan Donald. Well, that's it now. There's no question about that. That off stump was rocked out of the ground. And the testing over once more. He's given him. So Lara gets the finger from umpire David Archer. Donald gets the wicket. And Lara goes for 64. Oh, that's how what he's done. He's gone. Caught behind. Yes, he got a nibble there. And Ambrose is out, caught by Richardson of Donald. The West Indies managed a total of 283, setting South Africa a target of 201 to win. By the end of the fourth day, they'd reached 122 for two. I remember on the, on the fourth evening, uh, we needed about 70 to win uh, with eight wickets in hand. I think uh, a number of the guys thought that the, the game was in the bag. However, the West Indies front-line bowling pair of Kirtley Ambrose and Courtney Walsh were not going to give up without a fight. This from Kepler Vessels, he could have left that ball the only day yesterday he was doing that, but he couldn't resist this morning. Different day, different way you bat, he'll be cross with himself. Ooh, that was a good one. Certainly held it there, may just have left him. Cronier played at that and was beaten. Well, that can't have been far away. Coming forward, the ball cutting back into him. And Jeffrey Boycott gave it out.
Well, if you don't give these out for padding up no shot, then you're never going to give people out for not playing the shot. Look at that. If I was Courtney Walsh, I'd be mad as... Well, you can finish the sentence. An excellent catch there by David Williams. Inside edge, not very easy to take. And that's well bowled as well. Took the edge, didn't quite carry this time. That's what we were talking about. The ball moving in both directions. He's edged it. Just short. So what an eventful over was well, stopped by Philip Simmons. Not quite carrying for the catch. All the action and the tension here. inside edge they'll get two for it but not at all convincing and that's a cracking shot no one will get to that one that's four so that'll bring up the 50 for Peter Kirsten well played by this the older and the pillar of the batting this morning has gone 142 for six, South Africa. Courtney Walsh to Snell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this really is a, a collapse of major proportions and the final twist to what has been an extraordinary day's cricket. In the middle of the bat, a little poke, short leg, neatly taken. Thank you very much. To great jubilation. 142 for seven. And a rare commodity. One. <laughs> Not many spectators, but there's one who's loving it. <laughs> and it's Walsh now to Richardson. My goodness, that was close all along the ground and Richardson really had no uh, idea where it was. Once he was committed to the back foot, he was sunk if that had been straight. Oh my goodness, an inch away from the stumps. One forty-nine for nine. And these few West Indian and Barbadian spectators who've seen the West Indies win so frequently here at Kensington Oval now right behind Ambrose.